the things you have. So, did we remove the headers? Can you, can you check the data? Okay, let me send you the file again. Okay, it's a uh, um, it's a fact in internet sales and category. Okay, yeah, it's a sheet twelve. Okay, I'm going to send it again. You can just re-download it. I think no. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Or maybe I you might have to send it. Yeah, no, that's fine. No problem. I'll I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, it is sent. I think that's taking some time to download.
no primary key here. Yeah. No primary key. Yeah.
Did we run the query, uh, Mani? Yeah, this is the query, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you getting the same records? 60,398. Yep. Yeah. Now, now try to join the other, other fields that we have uh, as part of uh, the table import that we have. Let's create a star schema out of this. Hey Monique, uh, you know, maybe if you want to import the other Excel sheets onto this and create a join, right? And a query, which would combine uh, the fields that are joined. So now on this uh, data, it is 60,398. You know, uh, can, can you go to that query? Okay, it's, it's the query. Can you get the fact internet sales uh, table? You know, how many rows of data do we have? Right. So it's exactly matching the number of rows of records. Now, can you can you try to create a form only for the order date and uh, the, the matching columns over there for these records on the query? Yeah, save save the query. Yeah, okay, okay. You didn't save the previous one. Mm, that's okay. Let, let's try to replicate that. Yeah, there's definitely a delay. <laughs> <laughs> I did that a while ago. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, absolutely. There, there's a delay.
I'm not sure if the screen share is paused. Are you doing something? Uh, money? No. No, oh, okay. Can we create a form on this? That's perfect. So now, in terms of uh, for the order key itself, you know we are, we are having multiple uh, sets of data data here. So did we did we see the uh, reports in the in the last session that I that I showed with you? Create report. Yeah. Did that like a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So this is going to give me that specific view in which you would have something similar to the uh, data. Now let's try to create a cross tab query on on the same data. Create a cross tab query. Query wizard. Cross tab query, yeah. All right. So on what table? So this will give you the table that you wanted to select, okay? And yeah, maybe that's fine. Yeah. Tables, right? Or you want to do it on a query? You you can select the queries to view on the radio button. Yeah. Since we only have one query, that's how it's going to be. But uh, no, I I want to hit on table, you know, on, on the on the yeah, internet sales, yeah. Now, available fields, you know, I would this this is quite self-explanatory. I would want you to do it yourself, you know, the way that you see the order date and sales trip, etc. Right, something similar to that. So maybe you want to give it here the the sales the price here somewhere. Then maybe even the order quantity, yeah, the unit price. Okay, it should be some. Yeah, that's it. Okay, finish. Yeah. Right. So this is how it's going to be. Maybe you might have selected the, you know, the columns here, but this is this is going to be something similar to the pivot. However, you do not have those functionalities as the pivot itself. Okay, maybe you want to modify this, change the design view, and then 
I remove the columns that you have it here, you know. You can go to the design view of this. Mm. Yeah. So maybe you want to take out the column that you had across the columns. No, the, the number went off. Okay, do it again. No, because we have taken one of the amount off. So maybe you would want to create the over there, the sales amount and so on. See, the column heading, yeah, maybe you want to give it the column heading, yeah. So, because since you said, you know, the column, uh, you know, the sales order number, I, I think that's going to be quite heavy. Maybe you want to change the order number to maybe the region if you have it something over there. Yeah. <laughs> maybe by fright. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, there you go. So this is how the cross tab would work and the if you see the total number of rows it is 23797 but it has all the information of whatever you require on this so this is this is how the cross tab functionality would work and uh, which is nothing but the pivot kind of functionality that you were expecting uh, in the earlier so this is this is how in the access that it, we are going to do it so now uh, you know, as we try to recap what we've done today um, in the morning, right? So we have gone through a various sets and you know, the best practices that we have on the Excel. And we have seen a couple of options that are available for the pivot. And also how do we load the pivot uh, into the power pivot information? And how do we bring those uh, together? Right? How do we join them? And the similarly, I can I can have them picked up as part of the pivots, which is nothing but like your query. So we have seen the same set of action, whatever that we have done. Um, you know, we have done it both in the Excel as well as in the Access. So that is that is the difference, uh, you know, uh, between the Access and Excel. You know, in terms of the data manipulation and also the pivots related things. And we have seen various uh, pivot information. You know, as to they carry the data with the pivots, and we would want to suppress that. And how does it respond while we have the power query and power pivots uh, on display? Okay, so that's uh, that's pretty much it for now. And now I'll have a quick thirty-minute break, and then we'll meet right out of the break. But All just right. wanted to hear from you on the questions if you have any. What's the water?